channel. So today I am bringing you the unboxing video for my August Like Forever kit. So this arrived last night but I was at work um, and it was dark so I've been very good apart from opening up the tape and doing a quick oh that's all I've done. Um, so now I'm going to unbox this now before I head off to work for another day. So if we open this up now I do get two kits uh, because I get one for myself and one for a friend. So we just need to split some of these little bad boys up this time. Maybe the extra little bits by the looks of it. And then I think I'll have the red lollipop this one. So we've got those. We've got no add-ons this month. Um, I am trying to use my stash. So therefore, I'm being very good in regard to the add-ons. And mainly not looking, um, which I find is the better way. So, let's move this out of the way. And here we have all the kit bits. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through the papers and see what we've got there. So we have some sketch inspiration. So we have a few different page layouts here uh, to give us ideas which I am actually with last month's kit July's I am actually using that uh, I have done some of July's kits not that you pages not that you can tell and um, I am a little bit behind on videos and they will get caught up um, as and when I can get them done um, but I have been busy creating and hopefully I'll be on this kit soon so first off cardstock wise we have a mint green turquoisey colour we have like a smoky grey I like that colour and then we have a corally type pink so we have those three and then papers first off we have the Paige Evans number 13 pink paisley and this is from the Take Me Away collection is it Take Me Away? I think that's what it's called. Apologies if it's not. So we have these series of like townhouse buildings with lots of those lovely colours in, uh, matching up these pink colours, etc. And then we have like a grid type pattern. This would be great for layering, so you can use one sheet of paper and get at least three different layers out of that. So we have that one. Then we have pink paisley number 17. And... This one's got a nice floral on, it's my kind of floral, this one. Uh, so we have that one, and then we have this nice ombre pink, which always goes down well. I'm liking that one, I'm actually liking that one and that one. For there. Then we have Pink Paisley number 8 by Paige Evans, and this again is another ombre, but with like a scallop fish scale type design on it. So we've got that, and then we have a nice green tone wood grain. Uh, it does have a little bit of a minty look to it. I'm not sure if you can see it on there, but it's definitely got a minty look. In fact, the pink sort of goes to a minty colour as well, which is nice. Then we have number 11, and this one looks like a series of tickets, and receipts, proof of purchase, etc. Again, in all different colours, so it will be great for layering. And on the oh, like this. And on the other side, a nice yellow. I do like to scrapbook in yellow with little polka dots. So that's going to stay on that side for my benefit. I mean, I'm going to break some of these up a little bit. And then we have number sixteen, and this has got a nice hexagon design. Uh, it's like a sequin, it's like a big sequin in lots of different colours. So that should be fun to play with. And then we have this lovely turquoise stripe, thin stripe, thick stripe, more like a hand-drawn brush stroke. I really like that side, but I think for now I'm going to keep it on that side. This is a lot paler this month, but nice. And then we have number 22. So again, we've got the hexagon thing going on. Maybe I will get that design layout done with my hexagon punch. Um, so we've got that in all the different colours and then we've got a nice useful grid design on the other side. We'll keep it on that one. 
I'll just bring it down here just so it doesn't clash with the other one. That's looking nice. And then we have number four, and this has got again, it's like somebody's freehand drawn the brush strokes in like a watercolour. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Apologies. There we go, it is morning. Um, so we have this nice brush stroke, and then we do have these lovely little triangles on the white on the other side. Again, we've got some good branding strips that go with all of these. Then we have number 10. I may one of these days try cutting one of these out. Um, but this is number 10 and this has got a big floral piece on it with lots of little florals intertwined in your leaves. And then on the other side, we've got this nice bold heart pattern with lots of lovely little hearts on there. I quite like that actually. And then we have, oh, Coco Vanilla Studio. So we have Class Act um, from the Love Always collection. And that's got this marbly type effect in a pale pink. And then we have a gorgeous black and white dotted paper as well. I think I'll keep it on this side for now, just for the shadings. And then another one from Love Always, and this one is Note to Self. And this one has like a geometric sort of dotty pattern. I'm not sure if you can see that that's all made up of little dots to make the little flowers slash circles geometric 70s. I think it's 70s, maybe 60s type pattern. So that's on that side. And then on the other side, it says love always and ever, forever and ever love always and ever etc 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 so we've got those lovely little words there i think i'm going to pop that down on that side i think so that is the paper and cardstock collection for this month's kit nice little bit more muted but there's still those little hot pops of color if you do want to include those which i like and then on to the embellishments so we have the dear lizzie accents and phrase stickers so we've got a taxi I have to see if I can use a taxi but we've got some nice ones a dream is real uh, exclamation mark you never know when these things will come up and these little flowers are a really good match to this Paige Evans paper as well so that's one side and then the other side we've got a few more things that can be used generically so we've also got yes no maybe and so wild heart but then we've got some of your plus symbols some of your little circles that work well as accents, little chevrons, little hearts, etc. So that's a nice sticker sheet for there. Let's see if we can make sure that that's seen. And then the next big package is we have the thickers from Dear Lizzie, and I really like these. So these are chipboard thickers, and they're dipped in black with then spots going up. Um, to white at the top of the letter and you get a lot of letters in those and you still get your few numbers as well so I'm looking forward to using those ones but it does seem jam packed this month and then we also have dear Liddy dear Lizzie sorry black varnish stickers and let's see if we can get to see these properly these are quite thick so these are thicker than I expect oh there's two of each that will be why Okay, so first one, we've got things like Oh Baby, It's a Wild Ride, Collect Beautiful Moments, Heart Eyes, The Best Time for New Beginnings is Now. We've got a couple of little hearts, which I like, Make Today Pretty. And then for the second one, no, that's the same one. For the second one, we've got the likes of There's No Place Like Home. We've got some numbers. A life filled with magic, hello, so it goes. A million tiny little things and some arrows and again some hearts. So they're quite nice, bring that little black accent to the layer. And in that packet there is two of each. So 68 pieces in total for that one. Then we have Love Always Enamel Dots and these are glittery 
awesome don't have too many glittery ones and again those colors go beautifully you've got your black and your silver um, rather than your gold which will work for me so we've got that excuse me then we have the love always and this is the cocoa vanilla bits and pieces pack now as much as I would love to get this out in this video, I do have to go to work soon, so I'm not going to. Um, but in there we do have little resin flowers and bows. We've got some little tassels. We've got some sequins and a doily peg, little puffy hearts some buttons, some little metal butterflies. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Some little fabric flowers and some string which I think is attached to tags. You can't see underneath because that's just a doily. And some other little pops of bits and pieces. So that looks like my little challenge different piece for this time. Um, not that I wouldn't normally use some of these. Some of these I would maybe use. Um, the more dimensional I'm always a little bit, it's always a little bit harder for me to use. But that's why I like kits, because I get stuff that I wouldn't go into the shop and buy um, and get to see what layouts I create with that. So that is the kit. We then do also have this little baggie um, that says, please find enclosed a little something to thank you for your patience and kind understanding this month. Um, we were kept very well informed, so I didn't mind. Um, but we this kit is a bit later than normal. Um, so that we could get the newer collections waiting for things to arrive from American Crafts, etc. So this is very nice to have a little extra. I'm going to have a look. So shut your eyes if you're a kit member and don't want to know. Ooh, and then in here we have a little Heidi Swap stamp set. And this says things like, enjoy this, thankful, happy, hope, joy, journey and believe. So that's the little stamp set from Heidi Swap, which is cute. And then, of course, I have my lollipop. So that is my kit. Um, I will do my Add the Stash video soon, though it unfortunately can't happen before I go to work. So it may be a couple of days before I get that done. But I will get that up before I start using the kit. Otherwise, that's when things start going pear-shaped for me. So thank you for joining me. I hope you join me to see what I get creating with this kit, um, which will be up as soon as I get the last month's kits layouts up and on my channel. Um, but yeah, thanks again and I'll speak to you all soon.